Now, the volatility in AMC stock was absolutely supposed to skyrocket today as the hearing between shareholders and AMC Entertainment was coming to a conclusion. And the conclusion of that meeting as to whether or not Ape shares were going to be allowed to convert into AMC shares... Well, we were supposed to get that decision today, and we are not going to get that decision today. So we're going to talk about exactly when we can see that decision, and we're also going to talk about whether or not shareholders, which I believe they are, but whether or not shareholders are being backstabbed by Adam Aaron and AMC Entertainment. Let's discuss it. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you guys are brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you get a link in the description below for Weeble. Super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks. If you guys want crypto exclusive exchanges, you've got KuCoin and Binance down there. But please be aware, KuCoin and Binance, if you hold on those exchanges, it's considered a loan to those exchanges. So to mitigate that risk, look at a cold storage or DeFi wallet. Guys, now, in order to understand where we are, we got to know where we're coming from. So in March, AMC shareholders voted in support of the company's proposal to convert AMC preferred equity units into common stock or AMC shares. Now, this is what CEO Adam Aaron described as a landslide victory. But please be aware, okay, this included all APE shareholders, Voting as well as AMC shareholders. So let's just understand that APE holders, of course, they would vote yes because it meant a guaranteed rise in the price of their shares. And who owned the vast majority of APE shares? You guessed it. Hedge funds institutions, specifically Anterra Capital. Now we're going to talk about why it's a backstab to retail investors in a second here. But we also are going to get into when we can finally see the decision. Because AMC sat sideways today. AMC and Ape did not move higher simply because we did not receive a decision. So that's going to be one of the most important things. But what we need to know here is that on Thursday, AMC shareholders opposed to the settlement told the court that some of the investors felt that the cinema blockchain had stabbed them in the back. This, is, of course, was reported on by Reuters, but here's the important part and why we were stabbed in the back. Now, on Thursday, this would have been yesterday during the court case, a Form 4 filing with the SEC showed that Antara Capital, the largest investor in Ape shares, had lowered its stake to less than 10%. The private investment firm slashed its Ape holdings by over 63%. Now, here's the, here's the timeline of events here. Here's what happened. Adam Aaron, Ape shares are at their lowest they had ever been. 60-something cents a share. And Adam Aaron goes over to his buddies at Antara Capital. Adam Aaron sells them roughly 200 million shares of Ape. Over $100 million worth of Ape at its lowest price possible. They become the majority shareholders of ape now a couple weeks later i don't even know if it was a couple weeks a couple days later maybe i don't know the exact timeline there we have the vote to convert split and dilute future shares of amc clearly the fact that antara owns 200 plus million shares they vote in favor of the conversion their share price rises by more than 5x. Their $100 million becomes half a billion dollars. $500 million in near all profit. Because, of course, they knew that they were going to get to vote. They knew that they were going to be the majority swing. They knew that it's going to lead to that landslide victory. Now, that's interesting. So if they were really interested in the future of AMC... If they really truly were a representation of the shareholders of AMC Entertainment, they would still be holding, right? They would be waiting for the conversion to take place. No, absolutely not. 
They sold off, slashing their ownership by over 63%, now owning less than 10% of all of the Ape shares outstanding because they made their 5x gain. They had their profit. And in return, I'm sure all they had to do was promise Adam Aaron for that guaranteed 5x, $500 million return that they would vote yes for the conversion. Why? Because if they vote yes for the conversion, how much money does Adam Aaron and AMC get? $16 billion worth of future dilution. $16 billion worth of future dilutive shares for AMC Entertainment. Now guys, here's what you need to realize. That $16 billion is going to come out of your pocket. It's going to come out of my pocket. So we have a choice. Do we just give AMC Entertainment $16 billion? Or isn't that supposed to be our squeeze money? Isn't that supposed to be our investment money? It absolutely is. So that is why we've been stabbed in the back by AMC Entertainment, by Antara Capital, by Adam Aaron, and by this entire process. This is what the judge is deciding on. Was this an adequate vote? Was it something that represents shareholders' best interest in being able to go out there sell these shares to Antara Capital, a week later, they go ahead, vote for the conversion, and basically destroy the retail investor while they 5x their money in a couple-week period. It's insanity. But, of course, the special master says it's a no-brainer. We have to vote in favor of Adam Aaron and AMC. Shareholders knew what they were doing. Of course, the judge now is going to decide if everything can go through. It is out of our hands. So when do we see a court decision coming up? A court decision, and I'm going to pull up the article here so I can try my best to quote it, but we are not going to get a decision today, and we are not going to get a decision next week. The special, the, the Vice Chancellor Morgan Zern did not give a specific date on when her final decision would be released, so we don't know exactly when she is going to say. She did state two things. There will be no advanced warning of when she makes her decision. <laughs> She's not going to say, okay, guys, prepare for increased volatility. I'm going to be announcing my decision on Friday. What she said is that, she, however, she stated that the decision will not be revealed next week. Knowing that, we should see a tightening of the volatility next week, and things could absolutely pick up any day from there on out. Now, of course, if she goes in and she has an announcement next week, she's going to blow everybody's mind and, and basically screw everybody over that is potentially investing and selling options on AMC next week. That's going to be a very difficult thing to, to stomach for a lot of people. But the decision is going to be whether or not Adam Aaron can settle with shareholders. Here's the settlement. So you guys understand what took place. Antara Capital came in, made 5x on their money in a couple week period by going in, racking up 200 plus million votes, voting in favor of the conversion, 5xing their money, and getting out of their shares. So they never even have to worry about converting now. They've been in, they've been out, and the rest of the retail share shareholders now have to deal with that decision. What is our settlement? One share of AMC for every 7.5 shares of AMC that you own post split. So that translates right now into one share of every for every 75 shares that you currently own. Nearly a 1% premium, a 1% settlement. That's it. If you don't think that AMC Entertainment is going to decline in price by more than 1% due to this conversion taking place, that is extremely naive. It will absolutely drop by more than 1% once this conversion takes place. That 1% settlement is going to be eaten up in probably a one-minute candle. It is... <laughs> I still think that there's a chance, okay, Everybody is is kind of, you know, the street and everybody else who's saying that their analysts' expectations are out there are for a conversion. Now, unfortunately, I believe that that is the path that we are going to see move forward. But I believe there's a chance that this Morgan Zern, the vice chancellor on this court, 
will have a little bit of common sense. We'll understand that AMC shareholders were absolutely bamboozled, backstabbed, misled, whatever you want to call it, with the selling of majority shares to hedge funds so that they could vote themselves into massive gains, dump on retail investors, and then retail investors bear the brunt of the future dilution and the declining in price. I want to know what you guys think. Down in the comments below, let me know your thoughts. Were shareholders backstabbed or not? I think they were. Let me know what you guys think. Of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin, and Binance, free Discord. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.